welcome to Royal IT Skills. Today we are going to uh, learn how to uninstall Informatica Power Center on Windows. Okay, so these are the steps, total four steps. First one is uh, to uninstall the Informatica client and then uh, we uninstall the Informatica server and we also uninstall the databases on which uh, Informatica is installed and later we will see if there are any folders or uh, left out in the in the drive where you installed it uh, c drive or other drives wherever you installed we will check and clear if there is any left out folders and then we remove the entries in the registry okay and then finally we re restart the system to uh, i mean uh, make the changes effective okay and then we can freshly install the informatica okay let's go on uh, with the uh, steps first we will go to the control panel we will search control so the control panel will come so open the control panel and go to uninstall a program so here uh, you can uh, find informatica okay so there are two components here uh, the one with client is comes with client the one without any um, name just informatica 10.2.0 is a uh, server so first we can uh, uninstall the client just right click and say uninstall it will ask for uh, yes or no so say yes so it will be uninstalled <coughs> quickly yeah we can say next so we are going to install informatica power center client yes uninstall if you face any kind of error here means the services are running so in that case you have to go to start go to services and stop the services and then only you can uninstall Uh, this will take a while okay so uninstallation completed so we can say done uh, we can refresh and see you can refresh and check and again go to either you can manually search or you can simply uh, type in so it will take you to the informatica so if you observe the client is uninstalled now we are going to uninstall the server so just right click on this and say uninstall and it will ask for confirmation say yes click on yes okay so would you like to uninstall yeah um, click uninstall to continue okay i am i click down uninstall Okay, this will be uninstalled quickly. Okay, once it is done, uh, we can say done and uh, yeah, uninstallation completed. We can go and say click on done. Okay. We can uh, refresh and see if it is already uninstalled. Okay, let, let me refresh. So this is after Google Drive and before Intel, right? Let me check. Okay, so there is no uh, Informatica between these two. Okay, this is done. Now, uh, I'm going to uninstall. Uh, see, uh, first thing is uninstall client. So client is done. Second thing is uninstall Informatica server that is also done. Now we are going to uninstall the databases on which the uh, so, uh, server and uh, clients are installed. So I'm going to uninstall the database that is Oracle database 11G Express Edition. So here it is in the control panel itself. Just right click 
and say uninstall. It will ask for confirmation. Say yes. Yes. Do you want to completely remove the selected application and all the or its features? Yes. This will take uh, some time. So once uh, all these are uninstalled, uh, you, you should not see any folder related to Informatica uh, in the C drive or any other drive where you installed it. By default, it will install in C drive. Uh, if you don't want to install it in C drive, you you would have installed in somewhere else, right? So you can just go to that folder and clear all the entries. Okay, uninstall complete, finish. Okay, let's refresh and see. Okay, it's after OBS Studio. Let's say refresh. So there is no there is no Oracle now, right? So we are done with the uh, uninstalling. Informatica client, uninstalling Informatica server, now uninstalling database. So these three things are done. Now we will go and see if there are any uh, folders available in the drive. Okay. I, I installed this in the Informatica. So I can, I can remove this. Uh, so I can simply remove all these things. And I also installed Oracle here. So if you see, this is a uh, Oracle. So I can remove this also completely. Okay. So uh, if, if if in case uh, in your case, if you have installed it in um, C drive. So uh, just see if, if there is any Oracle, Oracle uh, XE or Informatica folders are there, you have to remove them. Okay, generally it will come here in the C drive. Uh, I don't uh, see because I have installed it under uh, D drive. Okay, now uh, let's, let's go on to the next step. So we have cleared uh, the existing folders i mean if there are any informatica or oracle xc folders we have to remove those things next we will go to the registry to delete the entries okay so uh, for that you can type reg edit or you can go to uh, run and you can uh, uh, enter this reg edit so registry ed editor just open this it will ask for confirmation, yes, say yes. So these are the things um, in the, so here we need to be very careful while deleting anything. So we need to cross, uh, double check before deleting anything. Okay, first let, let's go to the uh, local machine. Here in the local machine, go to software. So in the software, uh, there are multiple Informatica folders. So we can delete all the Informatica related folders one by one. Just say right click and delete. It will ask for confirmation. Yes. And right click all, all the Informatica on all the Informatica folders and you can delete. Okay. So similarly, do we have any Oracle related here? So there is no Oracle related uh, folder here. So I think is there. System software wise we are clear. System go to system and <clears throat> check check within the system check for software. Do we have any um, informatica related stuff? Nothing is there. So we are good here as well. And uh, yeah. So we we don't have anything here. Let's double check.
okay even in the software we don't see anything so we need to i mean it's better we double check every time when, whenever we are doing so local machine wise we are good um, we can go to current user in the current user same software and system in the software do we see informatica yes so just go and delete this are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys yes similarly uh, find out i mean check for oracle so just type o so there is no, this is odbc so there is no oracle here so we are good software wise and system also you can see current control set so there there are no such uh, informatica folders here so we are good here and yeah h key user also you can check so there are no such systems so software system so we don't have anything here so control services so we don't have any entries so in the local machine we cleared and in the current user we cleared so just double check once again so that uh, we, we are not missing anything so software nothing is there and system we don't have anything so we can also check in the control uh, control set if you have any here in the services so just check informatica just you can type inf so it will take you to the inf uh, informatica thing okay so we don't have anything here in the control set current control set so services just type informatica there is no informatica here so we are good or all we are good we have covered all the registry entries okay so we basically cleared all the registry entries of uh, i mean uh, there is no oracle entries but uh, yeah we have cleared uh, informatica registry entries now we have to restart the system so uh, once we restart the system then it is it will it will be ready for uh, installing informatica power center once again freshly okay hope you like the video if you like it please uh, hit on like also subscribe the channel for more videos uh, for uh, informatica installation video we have uh, we have posted an another video please go through that and uh, for more information you can contact us royalty skills um, online training institute and uh, you can visit our website www.royaltyskills.com Okay, thank you very much. We will see you in the next video.